An estimated 25 million people in the United States have some form of venous reflux disease of the legs. About 50% of women and 40% of men in the U.S. are affected by some type of vein problem. Varicose veins affect half of people 50 years and older. Despite how common this problem is, fewer than 10% of those affected seek treatment. Varicose veins can be caused by weak or damaged valves in the veins. The heart pumps blood filled with oxygen and nutrients to the whole body through the arteries. Veins then carry the blood from the body back to the heart. As your leg muscles contract, they push blood back to the heart from your lower body against the flow of gravity. Veins have valves that act as one-way flaps to prevent blood from flowing backwards as it moves up your legs. If the valves become weak, blood can leak back into the veins and collect there. This is called venous insufficiency. Spider veins can be caused by the backup of blood. They can also be caused by hormone changes, exposure to the sun, and injuries. Vein disorders can cause all sorts of problems, and primarily those are pain and aching and heaviness. They can lead to burning um, and discoloration of the skin. If vein disorders go uh, untreated for a long period of time, they can result in ulcers, um, skin breakdown, and major wound healing problems. An evaluation of patients with vein problems really starts with the history and the physical examination. So a patient presents to the office and we want to get an idea of what kind of problems are their veins causing them. Are they there purely for cosmetic purposes or are they having true problems with pain and aching or skin breakdown and those sorts of things. So a history of whether or not it's affecting their work duties, what they've tried in the past for therapies, those sorts of things really plays an important role of the evaluation. And we have a vascular lab here in our office and patients can be evaluated same day or shortly thereafter. We're looking for the anatomy of their venous system and trying to find out if the blood is going backwards in their veins, which is really the majority of everybody's problems that presents with venous insufficiency. Venous insufficiency is the underlying cause for most varicose veins. Some of the risk factors include pregnancy, female gender, advancing age, a standing occupation, and most often hereditary. Symptoms of venous insufficiency include swelling, skin discoloration, prominent varicose veins or ropey veins, skin ulcers, aching, burning, or throbbing sensations in the legs and feet, cramping, and leg weakness. It depends on what the ultrasound showed us in terms of what the problem is and we tailor our treatment to that ultrasound finding. If somebody has cosmetic types of varicose veins or what are called spider veins or reticular veins, then usually the main therapy is going to be injection or sclerotherapy whereby we use a very small needle and inject a sclerosing agent inside the vein and cause it to collapse and then it goes away. If it's a problem of reflux where there's blood going backwards in the veins, then we'll tailor the treatment more towards trying to close that vein so the reflex doesn't occur. And the main thing that we use is the radio frequency catheter, which is this right here. It's an in-office procedure. Uh, it's done under local anesthesia. Basically, we want to get inside of the vein with the catheter, and it heats up the vein. As we pull it back, it closes the vein, and the reflux therefore doesn't occur, and there's no pressure exerted on the veins, and they go away. Vein treatments work really well for the right patients. For patients who present with cosmetic reasons, the patients usually receive sclerotherapy for that. Some patients have excellent results after one treatment. Some patients will need multiple treatments. Treatment for venous reflux is something that really works well. Those patients are gonna have an excellent result and really feel quite a bit of improvement at the end of their treatment. 96% of the time, they're gonna stay closed at five years. Vein treatments are covered by insurance depending on whether or not the problem is medically necessary or cosmetic. We do have a pre-authorization process and we can give patients a good idea of whether or not it's going to be covered before they ever start any therapy. Vein diseases can be treated and there are several non-surgical and surgical treatment options available. The goals of treatment are to reduce symptoms and reduce the risk of complications. Talk to your healthcare provider for the treatment option that is right for you. For Ben Memorial Clinic, I'm Victoria Adelis.